What is going on guys? We have a new video and this one is going to be the recap for PW2C versus Annihilate. This was a very, very, very good war for us. Like, so PW2C just went through a merge with a, well like, well, I guess, with a Donate 2.0, one of our sister clans. We moved everybody from Donate 2.0 up to PW2, or well most people, up to PW2C, and then a lot of people from PW2C to PWC. So yeah, we this was our first war with this new lineup, and we did amazing. So you can see we got uh, 89 out of 90, which is one star of a perfect war, and if you see right here, we, it was a 99%, and it was Chow getting a 99%, and I think I'm going to show the attack, because I'll explain the story behind it after. But yeah, we did great. Um, if you don't know, Annihilate is like a, another uh, war, like a war clan. They um, they they consist of two clans. That was like a split or something. Not split, but like they sent people over here. I don't know exactly, but like I know they're a good group of guys. So yeah, you can see that we did all good and stuff. Blah blah blah, yeah. People like to look at stats, I don't know why. But I don't really find it that great. So yeah, that was really awkward. But we're gonna jump into our first attack, number er, number one, uh, Chow t taking on number one. Jesus Christ, that was really bad. So, the story behind this was that he had to attack at like the last five minutes war he gemmed everything up and then the previous attack before this was a 97 percent so he quickly like gemmed everything like copied the attack and we wanted the perfect door and if chow didn't deliver we were all gonna be mad so he was under pressure and chow is a leader so it, it was joking we weren't actually mad at him but yeah, you can see right here, he's coming with the queen charge, two all breakers going down, that's all he needs to get into the base when they're raged. And the queen is going to walk in, take out the two point defense that's going to be on her, and she's going to continue to walk down. And also, well, uh, I'm going to explain, because I was watching the attack live, and and the uh, chat, I think there was about 50 to 70 messages that were said in the chat within the attacking time and it was like a roller coaster so right here everybody was hyping up and like oh blah blah chow better three star and this and that and so you see the queen she's about to die he used the ability and i think that could have been used that wasn't necessary to use but it actually comes out turns out to help him in the end and you're gonna see right here the valkyries enter the base they break through the wall take out the first first inferno and then the and then the second Inferno goes down right now. So keep an eye on this wizard tower. So everything has ran past it at this point. And there's nothing that's going to go back to take it out. So there's a whole bunch of point defense right here. And uh, everybody in the chat was like, nice try. They all thought he failed. And then we noticed that the healers lock onto the king and are healing up the king and the Valkyries. And that they're about to punch through completely and take out the last defenses. And th these uh, troops have taken out, are about to take out the stuff up here and the last tesla so we were like oh wow he three starred uh chow even swags the poison spell and then we're all like celebrating and stuff and then somebody's like oh the wizard tower and then we're all like oh no and then so this one hog right here level six hog <sighs> he's gonna have to run up and take out the wizard tower the wizard tower all alone and you will see right here that he brings it down to super low health but doesn't manage to take it out the wizard tower just is too strong or an, and too beefy to take out or like to to go down if it was pre-update because you know, if it was pre-update the wizard tower would have died because the wizard towers do more do more damage now and yeah so you can see right here the wizard tower didn't go down and yeah, that was really bad commentary over an attack. 
but it's okay. Well, not really. But the second attack is going to be magic, and magic got us 97% on the number one base, so he was 3% off of getting a six pack. But that's unfortunate, but yeah, it's okay. We still won. So you can see right here, he's going to come in with a queen lock, and he's going to take out a long part, or a large part of the base. And I'll fast forward because it's pretty long. He's going to take out some point defense, take out some defenses, trash, and then walk right. He's going to wall break in, and then enter the base right here, take out that archer tower, and then grab the clan castle which was a whole bunch of balloons, and the balloons I'm sure were meant to prevent mass Valkyries because if you get like one or two balloon drops on Valkyries, they just get destroyed, they get toasted. So right here, the main attack goes down, Valkyries entering the base, they're gonna punch through the first layer I think, I wasn't paying attention to that, and the jump spell's gonna go down, allowing them access to um, <coughs> that main part of the core and then the second jump spell is going to open up the rest of the core and then the rage could have been better placed in my opinion could have been moved up a little but it's okay then the teslas are going to take out the rest of the valkyries at the town hall area but the other ones are going to come up and then reinforce and the haste spell is going to be dropped to propel them into the base so at this point the valkyries and the king are tanking for the the hogs and they drop suit the back end to take out an archer tower and they do that exactly that and then the if you saw the healers were healing up the valkyries of the king which was very helpful and then they're all converging on this last uh compartment to take it out and yeah pretty much it fast forwarding at this point last few defenses are here but he's gonna still take out the base. So yeah, nice attacks, magic. Too bad you got a 97%. Third attack is going to be Sushi Yogurt taking on, or no, Ab Abraham Lincoln taking on Sushi Yogurt. That sounds pretty bad. I wouldn't want to eat Sushi Oh god, I'm choking up. My throat's super dry right now. Yeah, I wouldn't want to eat Sushi Yogurt. So he's going to come in with a Govaho, and if you notice, this is a 9.5, and it's going to be a Town Hall 9 taking it out. So the 9.5 has leveled up defense, or leveled up um, Teslas, and then traps, so it's really not that easy to take out. And you can see right here that they wall break in, the Valkyries start coming in, and they take out the Clan Castle, and the Queen is going to lock onto the hound eventually but that's okay at least i think she does i'm not sure the valk or the hogs are going to be dropped on the right a few hogs and a heal spell because there's going to be two teslas maxed out teslas so it's gonna it would totally sizzle out, sizzle out his hogs if he didn't have a heal the valkyries are jumping into the rest of the base taking out the other defenses and then he's gonna the queen oh that's what happened so the queen walked and the wizard popped the lava hound which was unfortunate but it's okay it turns out well in the end the hogs are uh, continuing to circle the base and the second heal is going to go down over the giant bomb and then three more hogs in the back or was that four i don't know it doesn't matter he barely drops cleanup now and going to make it tight on time I think, I'm not sure what the time was on this, but yeah the last hogs take out the last defense and they're taking out the rest of the stuff, so yeah, nice uh, jump up onto a 9.5, not easy to do at all, pretty hard, and it was a nice attack, so good job to Abraham Lincoln. Okay, our next attack is Josh Mascuti taking up number 10, Brant, and you're going to see that it's coming in with another Govaho. Govaho is overpowered now. Um, two minions to make a funnel. And, yeah, he could have dropped the queen earlier because she's going to get stuck on the storage, and it was just a waste of time. And then the wall breakers are going to be dropped and tanked from the 
or what the giant is going to take for them. So yeah. I don't think the giant was too necessary, but it's okay. The Valkyries, some of them, or one of them walks, but she's going to head back in anyways. So yeah, the jump spell, jump spell goes down, takes out the the archers, and he got really lucky with the split right there. If the dragons went to the Valkyries, that could have been bad for him. And the queen hops over the wall, so he doesn't need a second jump. Uh, sprinkling in a few hogs just to take out uh, defenses. I think he... No, never mind. Yeah, so he takes out the few defenses on the right, and then takes out the remaining two right there, or three. Gets hit by a giant bomb, but an archer tower can't take all of those out, so they're fine. And yeah. Very nice attack by Josh. He got pretty lucky with that double giant bomb right there. But... Oh look at that, I got a uh, archer from Tiny Pickle, poison from Tiny Pickle, and another archer. Shout out to Tiny Pickle. Our next attack is uh, AJ29 taking on Darth Vader, and I believe this is... AJ is uh, gonna stop playing after this, or he's like quitting, so yeah. Very sad. I didn't really talk to him much, but from what I heard, he was a great, he was a great guy, so... That's too bad. But he has this great attack to show. So you can see right here, he has no golem. So he's going to drop in a whole bunch of Valkyries. I think it is like six or eight or something or seven. I don't know. And they're going to run down this long uh, compartment. And um, up here, you can see him doing the same thing making a little hole in the wall for Valkyries. The Valkyries take out some that whole compartment and the, they pull the clan castle and look at the barbarians they just get absolutely shredded because the valkyrie just spins and takes them all out and the valkyries at the top take out the entire compartment they take out the they run into the next one and then they're gonna he's gonna drop the jump spell to connect the other compartments up so he drops the heal spell for the double giant bomb and the Tesla farm pops up. The Valkyries are going to get locked onto the Queen, so they're going to have to hit the wall, and they're going to run outside of the base. But it's okay because they end up circling back and then taking out the last defenses in there. The balloons can't handle the last defenses because there was a Tesla farm in there and a Wizard Tower, and there was also an air defense shooting at them. So all the all the balloons die. But again, they, everything circles back around and takes out the remaining defenses. I don't know why he dropped a wall breaker there. Wall breaker there. He could have dropped it over here to help everything, but it doesn't matter. Just uh, something that he could have changed up a bit. The look at the queen right here. She just shoots the wall even though this compartment breaks open. I don't get the queen. But yeah, so it was a nice attack by AJ29 taking out base with mass Valkyries. I liked it a lot. So, our last attack, maybe? No, I'll do one more. Our second to last attack is Kalum, or Kayum. I don't know how to say his name. Maybe Kalum? Yeah, I have no clue. So, yeah, the this person... I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I've talked to him before, I just don't know how to say his name. Uh, the, he's coming with a stoned entry to take out a large par portion of the base, and the heroes are going to go down right here to take out stuff. He did a stone with a really low leveled heroes, which is something that I don't recommend, because your heroes are the entire like attacking force of the attack. Like, the, they do the, all the damage, so his heroes are like just really low, and I wouldn't rely on my level 13 and level 14 heroes to take out a big portion of the base. I'd rather take like a whole bunch of Valkyries. So yeah, the everything enters the base, and then um, he drops some hogs on the right side, 
to take out the archer towers, and then a Tesla form pops up, and he drops a few more to compensate for that. There's also spring traps sending his hogs to the sky, but he's fine. He drops um, some more hogs to reinforce, and then drops a heal spell to take out to heal up the hogs. I don't, I'm out of it right now, but yeah, the heal spell takes out what the hogs hit a giant bomb. And then the heal spells there to heal them back up. They, they're all in mostly low health, but he has another heal spell to get the hogs through the remaining defenses. I watched the attack before, but I just can't talk right now. I, like I don't know, I'm out of it right now. So if you saw this wall breakers right there, it opened up the entire or opened the compartment up for the king when he's going to leave the compartment. A pretty smart thing to do. The hogs are circling the base and taking out the remaining defenses. And I'm going to fast forward. Or, see, remaining defenses? Those were remaining garbage buildings. I don't know what I'm saying right now. I totally butchered his attack. Kalum, Kayum, Kalum, Kayum. C A L L U M. And then. Let's see, I haven't saw any attacks after this. I'm just gonna choose a random. Ran, <coughs> random one. Let's do. Let's do Slash. I haven't watched this attack before. Oh, you know, I think I saw it throughout through the war. So actually, I do know mostly what goes on. So he drops minions at the top, and then he's gonna funnel the green. Er, yeah. Funnel the queen left to take out the queen, the enemy queen, and then a few more defenses. And if I remember correctly, the queen ends up going to the right and instead of going to the left. And you'll see it in a bit. Uh, I'm gonna fast forward this part. Right here, the queen, the queen's lock on, and then his queen is gonna win, obviously, because it has healers on her, and there was no defenses targeting the queen. Right here she walks to the right and I don't think that was part of the plan and it doesn't really affect him that bad but he he does fine and he just goes on with the plan and then drops the bank kill squad to enter the base drops a heal spell on them over the tesla farm and drops a jump spell to open up the entire base the lava hound comes out and I I don't know if this was fresh or not but he got pretty lucky if it was fresh because the Lava Hound is going to do anything to the Valkyries. The hogs are sprinkled in on the left side while the, or the bottom side while the defenses are being tanked by that golem right there and they're all going to run through and take out the last parts of the base. Hogs taking out the remaining defenses, they avoid that double giant bomb, they get pretty lucky but the, I think the wizard tower is going to take them out. But the queen is going to take out the wizard tower after, so it's really not that big of a deal. And yeah. I said Valkyrie attack. That was a nice Valkyrie attack. I can't, I can't talk right now. So yeah, those are all the attacks I'm going to show for this war. We did an amazing job. They... Our guys just cleared the entire map. And we did it with a lot of attacks to spare too like all the Tunnel 9s, and then we weren't able to get the last Tunnel 10, but that's alright. The... Um, I was about to say something, but I totally forgot. Yeah, I don't know what I was going to say, I completely forgot. I thought of it when I was saying the stuff before, and then I just forgot about it. So, whatever. Nice word by us. Um, that's the video. I completely forgot how to talk this this uh, war or this recap, and I don't know. I hope you guys can deal with it. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, goodbye.